Hello, I'm John and this is my wife Pauline. Hello. Uh, we're here, this is the third in the series uh, Faith at Work, uh, but today we're going to talk about faith in retirement. So Pauline, tell us a bit about uh, what you did when you did work and what have you done since and how has it uh, perhaps impacted your faith? Well, I came to faith when I was 50, so that was about three years before I finished full-time work. Um, so I didn't really have a long time working as a Christian. But thinking about it, I think that our job, whatever it is we do, can become our identity. For instance, I was a secretary, and that was who I was, apart from my sort of family mm. life. And when I finished working, um, that was sort of taken away from me. And I remember thinking, well, who am I now? You know, what am I going to do? And I really felt that God was showing me that my identity is in him. So that I am a child of God. And any job that I do is secondary to that. Mm. So, for instance, whatever you do, say you're a nurse, a secretary like I was, a retail assistant, you're a Christian who is a nurse, a retail assistant, a secretary. Um, not the other way around, not um, a nurse or a retail assistant or a secretary who happens to be a Christian. So your identity is in Christ and I think that's what yeah. really I've learned. Yeah, that's good, your identity is in Christ, mm. not uh, the work or profession that you take yeah, up. Yeah. And that, that, that's a hard thing to grasp. Yeah. Yeah. So then what about you, John? What did you do before you retired? Do you want to share? Yeah, well, prior to taking early retirement, I worked was a residential property manager in the centre of Leeds. Quite a, a, a stressful job in a lot of ways. Um, and like yourself, I, I came to faith late in life. I was a bit younger than you, 49. <laughs> um, but I found that... Uh, once I started on the journey with Christ, uh, I found my working life became a bit of a stumbling block, really. Um, just that I couldn't really function as a Christian in that type of environment. Nothing wrong with the work itself. It was just that I couldn't reconcile my faith with what I was doing. And I just felt as though I wanted to do more for God and being confined to a, well, it was an eight till seven o'clock uh, work uh, practice, um, it just hindered me. So uh, I approached my managing director and they were gracious enough to allow me to leave. The, after a year, they said, if you can stop for a year while we get a replacement. And that's what I did. I stopped for a year and then they let me go. And uh, yeah, and that was it. I, I more or less retired from that time uh, and I'd have been about, I think, 53, 54. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. Um... and how has it impacted me since? Mm -hmm. I think, well, in taking early retirement from work, it helped free me up to do more for God. Certainly. I mean, I'd recommend it to everybody that, you know, are thinking about retirement. But of course, you've got to have the wherewithal financially. And fortunately, I did at that time. And uh, yeah, it was, just, it was just wonderful. It enabled both of us yeah. to uh, uh, explore our faith much more. We both spent uh, five weeks in Toronto, the Toronto Blessing. Uh, in, on a, a leadership course and then from that um, when I came back I studied for a, a degree in theology and that led me on to be a, a licensed lay minister so yeah it's uh, it, that's how much it's impacted me uh, retirement it's allowed me to do much more for God mm, yeah so what about you well since I retired well I've been a member of uh, St. Wilfrid's Church here in Carveley and the, the church has definitely helped me because I came to a living relationship with Jesus through mm. the church, through St. Wilfrid's and I have continued to grow I think and be encouraged through my friendship with 
everybody here, other Christians. And it's the place, here is the place that I serve God. And I receive encouragement, you know, from my like-minded uh, brothers and yeah. sisters um, who come yeah, to this church. Yeah. Well, you, yeah. You, yeah, you're very much like me because obviously we've been together. Mm. We were very, I, I don't use the word luck. It was uh, a God's, blessing God's that we grace. came to faith together. Mm. And like you, I've had nothing but encouragement from the congregation at mm. St. Wilfrid's which we, we started coming well over 20 years ago and ever since then it's it's been absolutely wonderful yeah yeah i think retirement's given me more time to serve god and the community here yeah by the things they're doing more time to just be with god you yeah. know really yeah. and uh, not have that extra yeah um responsibility of work yeah 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 and it's you know it's given me something to do as well in my retirement, <laughs> you know, because I are a great one for hobbies yeah. and things, you know, activities otherwise, but, um, you know, serving God has kept me busy. Yeah. But do you, do you think that the church um, could do more for you? For me? For me personally, um, I would like, if I think about it, I would like more opportunity week on week or month on month uh, to be refilled with this, the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. and, and that means an opportunity to maybe receive prayer and a refilling of the yeah, Spirit and it's yeah. you know you get so much from a Sunday service but um, I just would like more opportunity for that particular thing yeah. because it's been refilled with the Spirit that keeps your yeah, faith yeah, alive yeah, really yeah. isn't it yeah. yeah well you know what about you with me? yeah I, I said it's a difficult question what what do you want your church to do for you mm. it sounds a bit i don't want to be selfish and say yeah i'd like the church to do this for me and to mm. do that for me mm. um it's not so much what the church it's it's what god can do for me what i can get from god from being in this place and I suppose what I am getting is is the love and the encouragement from the congregation of St. Wilfrid mm. at Carverley. But it's a bit more about what can you do for God, isn't it? Or what can I do for God? Yeah. Than what can the, or what can I do for the church? But that is ultimately for God. Yeah. Uh, rather than the church doing it for you because it's about um, you giving and, and yeah, working serving, and serving. Serving, yeah. serving. And through yeah. serving you gain so much yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I, I would uh, well to finish i'd recommend it to anybody if anybody's thinking about retirement don't say retirement say you're refiring for god mm. refiring for god mm. and you will be blessed you know that, that i'd hate to think that i was retired and and just going through the motions of uh, you know, going for a morning paper and then spending the day reading it and, mm. uh, you know, when you can do so much for God um, through the church, through working in the churchyard, through w working in the community, in the schools, all which we mm. do with many others, mm. and we're not on our own, mm. there's a lot serve God. And when, I think when you give, when you do serve, you receive, don't you? You receive without so much doubt, from God. Yeah, without a doubt. So yeah, much, yeah. 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 Well, we hope so. that this uh, little chat has uh, perhaps encouraged you uh, in some way. And thank you for watching. Um, and remember, the best is yet to come, whatever mm. age you're at. So yeah. thank you and yeah. God bless you all. Yeah. And look out for the next um, series, uh, the next one, which will be, we don't know yet, work, uh, faith in work. Yeah. 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 Thanks for listening. Bye. Bye.